There have been accusations and counter accusations of attacks here and there. Uh, it's beginning to send uh, shivers down the spines of citizens in Kogisti. That's why we had to bring you on board. Now, speak to us about uh, the atmosphere in Kogi State as you prepare for the elections and what these could uh, send, the signals this could send uh, to those whom you're expecting to vote for you. Thank you very much. Kogi people were very peaceful people. The problem in the state is the state government. They are now allowing freedom of speech and freedom of choice. You see, democracy is about allowing the people to choose a person of their choice. But what the state government is doing, they are forcing people. How do you mean they are forcing people? You cannot, if you are not supporting the candidate of the governor, they treat you as an enemy. Mm. That's what's going on in the state. Well, let's just say that remains an uh, allegation. Mm. And we'll just leave it at that. Isn't I mean, it an allegation? You're, you're alleging attempts. Well, just like it's been stated earlier, I mean, <laughs> uh, accusations and counter accusations. You are accusing the state government of trying to assassinate you. Yes. And the state government is also saying that you or your camp is trying to, you know, get rid of them. Where, where lies the truth here? But that's not even the issue. Um, have you made any reports to relevant authorities on yes. the issue of the question around uh, your safety? And what has the response been? I've written to the police. Mm -hmm. We've written to the DSS and we've written to the NSA. We have written to the president. And they should intervene. Let every candidate be allowed to go and promote his or herself. And let the people make the choice. Did you get any response from any of these institutions? What was the response like? Uh, like the, the, in the case of the DSS, they have resp responded to a letter that uh, they are investigating the situation in the state, that they shouldn't worry they will get back to us. Well, it seems all of this really is distracting from the real issues that should mm -hmm. be on the front burner exactly. discourse in Kogi State as the people, you know, go to the polls come November mm -hmm. uh, 11. Let's even see if we can, you know, extricate ourselves from that, uh, this line of discussion about who wants, to, you know, to take who out. <laughs> What are the issues for the people of Kogi State? And what exactly are the things that you believe you're better suited to provide for, you know, Kogi State if uh, you're elected governor? We're in this race because we believe we have the solution to the problem of our people in the state. Mm -hmm. What is the problem? What are their problems? Absolutely. One, uh, the local government, which is the closest government to the people now, for the past seven years plus, it has been percentage salary. And the letter of uh, appointment, there's no way stated that you shall be paid percentage salary. Well, percentage salary, I mean, exactly how do you mean? If only a percentage of the salaries are yes. paid, what percentage are we talking about? It depends about on the mood of those consigned. Okay, now, <laughs> um, if you get this opportunity, you know that a lot is dependent on you because your people, the people from Kogi East, have been clamoring for this opportunity for so long a time. Kogi State is the only state that uh, shares a border with 10 other states in Nigeria. How are you planning to take advantage of this positioning uh, for uh, inter-party cooperation to uh, better develop the state? You see, Kogi State is a state that's full of opportunities. What we need is to get, once we get this uh, seat that we're looking for, there's a lot to be done. With the commitment of our team as a shrine in our manifesto, our people will see real change. What we need in the state is commitment to the people. Would you be willing to accept if whoever uh, wins calls you and says, come on, let's forget about party affiliations. Come, let's, let's, work, let's together. work together. Would you be willing to take up an appointment and I, serve? I'm not taking state? an appointment. I'm a Democrat. I believe in the will of the people. What mm. if the, whoever wins now recommends you as uh, a citizen for a federal appointment? I believe very strongly, uh, comes November 11, uh, people are going to decide in my favor. All right, but if it is not me and it goes the other way, mm. I'm okay. I will support whoever because our main interest is the people. 
Mm. Uh, that's good. I mean, because the AIG Zone 8 has cautioned all political actors to eschew violence during this election. Do you commit uh, to, you know, eschewing violence? I'm 100% committed to peace. Great. Fantastic.